Well, it's more than just a guy with a red tie from one talent to a guy with a different talent. Uh, hashtag red tie guy started trending on Twitter and definitely took the world, I guess, by storm. And he's sitting right next to me. First of all, what are you smiling about? Uh, good morning, Ilana. Being in front of you, I guess. <laughs> Listen, I, I watched some of the videos online. All of this has gone viral. How many times have you worn that tie? Today, uh, after Sunday, this would be my third time. Third time, international media caught on about it. Everyone's saying a different thing. What were you thinking when President Obama was standing in front of you and you were smiling? What was going through your mind? Well, firstly, I guess it's no secret now that, you know, President Obama is one of my biggest heroes. I, I have him in high regard, and, and that's what was going through my mind, you know. <gasps> my hero is in front of me, that much inches, and I was like, well, there we have the smile. I, I need to see that clap that you did as well, because the clap got me watching. Give it to us. There we go. That's the clap he did that, that got everyone talking. Where did you get that tie? Do you have a stylist? Uh, unfortunately, not yet. Did you do um, it on purpose? What is this? The, where the red tie? Do we notice? Yes, no, no. I, I've, I've noticed that the president always wear, wears a solid red or solid blue tie, and I was like, you know what? I want to match up with, my, with the other big guy, you know? So that's where the red tie came in. Do you want to be like him? Do you think that you have a similar story? Because international media is going, no, <laughs> they have similar stories. He's going to be the next Barack. Is it true? Most of it is true. Uh, on a personal level, there are a lot of um, similarities, such as the fact that both of our fathers were absent for most of our lives. Like him, I also met my father very at the late stage in my life. Also, the, um, both of us sit with our grandparents most of the time. And then also, I uh, too have a love for the law and plan on studying it next year. So all inspired by Barack. <laughs> I'm extremely inspired by the fact that you have gained the influence via Twitter and all of this, merely because you were present. Tell me about how you became famous since Sunday. <laughs> since Sunday. So Monday morning, I received a call from the US Embassy asking me, is it OK to give you details to, to an international um, media house? And I was like, why? <laughs> They're like, you, you, don't, you don't know what's going on? I'm like, no. They're like, um, please do go to Twitter and search for the guy with the red tie. And I was like, what? I did it on yesterday and I went and I was like, what, look what's happening, I'm famous. <laughs> and since then, uh, it's been going uh, great, you know, lots of opportunities came and I'm here this morning and you know, it's been going good. As I said, it's vital. Did you think last week you'd be sitting here all because of one of the people that inspires you? No, no. Ilana, when I went to the event on Sunday, I realized the magnitude of it, you know. This is President Barack Obama, the POTUS himself, you know, and I was like, it's just a glance that I'm going to get and, and the fact that I managed to get there right behind him and it is awesome, awesome, awesome. And it's almost emotional. I mean, just looking at Mikhail sitting here, he's, he's almost tearing. You, you're a very modest guy. I've learned to get to know you now before we, we, we spoke this morning. Tell me about your own story, which is also truly remarkable. Yes, so for most of the time, I stayed with my grandparents. Uh, last year, my grandmother passed passed on, and, um, but I guess she's very proud of me now. I mean, that's what many has been saying. And that I, I at all times, try and work hard, you know. I have goals and, and dreams, and Sunday being at the event was one of them, and I achieved it, and, and I'm so proud of myself, firstly. And everything else, the support that I've been getting from everyone else in my community, my family, has been great, and I really appreciate it. I'm sure everyone in Mitchell's plan goes, we know him! <laughs> oh, I yes. know him! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that is true. Everyone has been trying to claim me on Twitter and Facebook, um, but I guess I owe um, my very solid foundations to the primary school I come from in Mitchell's plan. I never gave them a mention. Let's look primary. <laughs> you have uh, been part of greatness. Thank you. One last thing. Look into that camera and, and give your one message that you want to give to South Africa. <laughs> Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, we can. The floor is, uh, is raving and roaring. Good to have you here. Well, we're going to the kitchen to find out what Leanne and Andrea is cooking up.